Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my hostel experience. And uh, from henceforth, I'm going to make videos of this kind because most of us travelers are falling a lot of victims with these accommodations in different parts of the world. Because as I came in yesterday, uh, let me take you for a walk into Rob and at the same time uh, explaining what is happening. So this is the front desk and there is nobody. Normally they will be here for like at least half to 9, 9 p.m. or, or 11 p.m. before they will leave. And uh, this is the kitchen because when I came in the guy said he's already leaving because he has some appointment. This is the kitchen and this is also like a place for, I don't know, for computer or will I say. Look at how it is. and. Uh, this is where you can, you know, this is the kitchen and there is even nothing to, to prepare. There is no, if you want to cook or you want to cook, there is no way you cannot cook and uh, there is nothing special. So now this is the bathroom, there is no light and there is, I cannot be able to take shower because when I came in yesterday, the water is very cold. So since yesterday, I haven't taken my shower, so this is one of the situations right here on ground, and uh, this is another place here. So this is the two, this is how it is. And now this is the sitting room. Here yeah, is like there is a little like small garden out here oh during the summer you can also come out and sit here so it is a good place but the maintenance is the problem and i don't know what is happening and the wifey yesterday i cannot walk i wanted to walk i wanted to create to upload some videos but i cannot do anything and this is the the other room there's war room, there's people there, so I don't want to disturb them. And this is the room uh, we are here. And uh, it's very uh, bizarre because normally I booked for a room for like, uh, I think, eight people, and here is 16. So, and it cost me, with this, it cost me 13 euros. So I paid about 25 lev. So this is supposed to be another room. The door is broken. It cannot close and the most important thing because this moment is very cold the weather is very cold and the room is very cold the internet is not working here the Wi-Fi is not working here and uh, you know this is the situation so yesterday I normally I wanted to sleep in this part of I, first of all I took this bed but it is too cold I cannot be able to sleep and uh, I was looking for solution. I came in here and I saw that this, uh, the, the claim is working. So here yeah, there is kind of heat. I fell to sleep on this bed and towards in the morning I cannot be able to sleep because it's too cold. The only place that is hot, is warm for someone to sleep is this one. So, and this bed is not good. The bed is already dead. It's already gone. So I managed to, to just try to, I don't know, even, even I tried to sleep for like some, some minutes before I woke up. So this is what you, you can uh, see, some of the challenges we got as travelers. I cannot be able to take my shower. I wanted to take my shower when I came in yesterday. So do this as I always do because I have learned from my mistakes. I have failed victims in multiple times around other countries so uh, what i do is if i'm not sure even though the hostel is good first of all before you book an hostel look at the description of the hostel what people say what other travelers have comment have said about the hostel before you book and number two, I booked for only one night first, so that when I come in, if the hostel is not what I think, if it's not clean, if it's not in real, it's not hygienic, if it's not, 
a good place for me to stay to spend multiple days then I just change uh, hostel quickly like the way I do Outside, so this is a let me walk down the plate. So, this is it. It is in a very strategic place. I don't know, maybe during the summer they will be more organized. I don't know, but a hey, because. It's very strange that there is no comment even in in booking.com. So it's very strange that there is no comment in the booking.com about the hostel. No comment. So it's very strange. So if you are booking an hostel, you have to be very careful. It seems like I already felt it when I was about to book it because I saw that there is no services like the average services most hostel provides. I am not seeing it in the description of the hostel. So I was like, ah, this, kind, this is kind of strange and there is no comment or feedback from people that have stayed in this hostel before. So I was kind of very, very like skeptical thinking that oh, this is a little bit strange. So I wanted to book another hostel the one i just booked now uh, there i believe is a good one so if it's not good one you will still see i will make video of it because i will keep on making videos videos of any situation like this because i have already had uh, one also in sofia before my last time i spent here so that this time a hey, uh, I own, and other countries have visited. I have one of the worstest one. If I if I have to talk if I have to talk about my hostel um, uh, experiences, the worstest and the worstest one I ever had until now is in Italy. Before I booked the hotel, they have had money. The one I wanted to book, they have had extra money, so it's become expensive, like almost uh, more than seven euro. So finally, the one that make it for me for my budget of the day is this one and i was like man you are kind of taking risk so okay so i booked it and as i'm coming less than let me say uh two hours someone called me i don't know is the the man from the hostel called me that oh man uh are you the one calling me that because a woman called me that you want to change the host, the hostel, uh, blah, blah, blah. A woman called you? What kind of woman is that? Very strange already. Very, very strange. I booked an hostel and I haven't called anyone to change my booking or to cancel my booking. So it is very, very strange. So I told him, he said, okay, uh, okay, no problem. Uh, if it's not me, no problem, uh, it's ready. It's about 50 minutes away from uh, the hostel. So he will be back uh, to be able to check me in. I said, okay, that's fine. So when I came in, wow, look, all my hands are freezing, very, very cold. So I cannot sleep in the night. So as a traveler, I've learned from this kind of situation. So I make sure I cover my head very well. If not, I will be sick. I will have some cold. Imagine I, I come with a group of people. So how many of us will st stay in just that small bed? So <laughs> hello. <laughs> and same to you. So it's very, uh, <laughs> she's saying happy new year to me. Imagine we have a group of people let me say about five people or ten people that we come together and we have this kind of situation and or there are little kids also because it's very cold so you have to be careful pay attention to these things normally i don't like to talk about these things because uh sometimes it's like um, uh, because of the business of someone 
But hey, sometimes we need to talk about it so that they can upgrade. They can know that oh, what they are doing is not good. If you are making business, make it good. What pains me more, it is a very beautiful place. Beautiful place that they can be able to organize very well. Very well. It's a very beautiful place. So it is a pity uh, for them to be uh, uh, not taking care of the hostel very well. The wifey, very bad. You cannot walk there. And the only place you can be able to walk is in only that small place, only one, one bed, where the wear is warm. And a part of the everywhere is very cold. The kitchen is very cold. The sitting room, very cold. It, nothing. There is no place to cook. Like, okay, early in the morning, maybe you want to make some omelette. Or you want to make some, like, uh, burger, whatever thing you want to do. Like, all the hostels provide is not there. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm <laughs> good. Where are you from? Uh, we from Varna. Varna? Yes. Oh, great. I run into Happy the young... Happy New Year, man. Thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What are you guys up to? Are you you a student? You go to school? We're, yeah. Yes. 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 We're a student. Yeah, but you speak very good English. Where are yeah, you learning? 50, 50. 50, 50, yeah. Oh, uh, I'm with the young, young guns here. Let me give you my YouTube channel. Okay. 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 I also have. Oh, good. What do you do in YouTube? Gaming card work. Yes. Me, I, I also have. Oh. I have 90, 97 subscribers. Oh, good. I have 34 subscribers. Oh. This is my YouTube channel. Okay. I subscribed for... Thank you. Every country has a playlist. I go around the world. Yes, every country has a playlist. I show you. Yes. You are welcome, bro. Yeah, thank you. Every country has a playlist. Yes, I go around the world. Yes. You have uh, 34 videos for Bulgaria. Yes, yeah. and I'm still making more oh, videos. That's so good. Cool. So, with a young gun, sit yeah. eye to the camera. Hi. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, bro. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, with the young people of Vana. So, hey, these are things you need to take in consideration and pay attention to if you don't want to. Uh, fall victim as I do. I have received a lot. Uh, this time I said, no, I will not let it pass anymore that I will start sharing because it might help uh, uh, newcomers in the game, new travelers, you know. So I will continue making this kind of videos because in the past I was not saying anything, but now hey, it's too much because I think whenever I didn't say anything, new travelers will be victim of it. So hey i decided to do it and also people that have hostel whenever they came across such videos it will let them to know that hey they have to work very well and uh, make their business very healthy for the people because it is their business it's bringing them money bringing them income so they have to take care of their business very well because it's dangerous it's a very dangerous situation look my hands are all very uh, very cold and I just came out from the hostel, so it's not, it's not fair. So I think my other hostel is over here. So this is how it is. Uh, I don't like it, but hey, I have to say it because it will help uh, young travelers. So be careful, be careful. I hope you get very well what I'm saying. A quick recap. Number one thing you need to know when you book in an hostel, if you are still a young traveler, a new traveler, the hostels that you, you like to book, click into the photos, look at the photos very well that they provide. Sometimes the photos are not exactly what you will get when you arrive. But hey, the number one thing you need to know, read the comments. Take your time to read at least two, three to five of the comments. It will help you a lot. For me, whenever I see any negative thing about the hostel, automatically I skip it because that is a red flag so for me if I see anyone just make any wrong comment I skip it 
because that is true. And number two, always book one night first. Book one night. So when you get to the hostel, if you like it, then you can now prolong it. That is the way I do now. So these are few of my travel tips and my experience as world traveler. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and share this video to other young travelers, people who don't know. Because a few months ago or years ago, I will just uh, uh, book for like one week or even two weeks in that kind of hostel. And you cannot cancel it because when you cancel it, they won't give you, they will take maybe even half of the money or the full money. So you lost and you have to go again and repay that kind of money again elsewhere. So imagine that. After I got a call from the man, I wanted to really cancel the, the accommodation, the booking, but I cannot. If I cancel it, they will take the totality of the money. So imagine that. So I have to come. So this is what happened to me. A few years ago now, I will book maybe for one week in that very place and I will be suffering for one week. If you stay in that place for someone like me staying in that place for one week, that means I cannot even to take shower for almost one week. Imagine. So you have to be careful. Pay attention to these little details so that you will save yourself time and save yourself some stress, unnecessary stress and pain. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if this is your first time here and see you on the next one ciao i am joel tamara if you like my videos please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will get notified of my upcoming videos as i take you to every country on head until then have a wonderful and inspiring day bye bye